Hello and welcome once again to Morgate Andrology. Now in today's video we're going to talk about how to prepare for surgery, how to prepare for surgery. We think this is a really important video here at Morgate Andrology and we want to give you a bit of a heads up. So if you book surgery or you're thinking of booking surgery, these are the things you need to think about um, on the road towards your operation date. So the first thing we want to bring up is your medical history. This is a really important part of the assessment process uh, for your particular operation. So one of the team will take a full medical history from you and you'll be asked to answer questions about uh, previous illnesses, previous operations that you may have had, and also medication that you're taking. These factors are all vitally important in assessing your suitability for surgery. So it's, it's, it's vital that you do not um, miss anything in terms of disclosure to, um, to the team. So, you know, however minor you think an ailment is, however minor you think a medication is, it's really important that you tell the team everything about your medical history so that a proper assessment can be made and proper preparations can be made ahead of your surgery date. The second thing I want to mention is something called a GP summary. So when you book an operation at Morgate Andrology, <clears throat> you'll be asked to collate a GP summary. This is something that's available from your family doctor. They used to request for these all the time from private hospitals. And it is a summary of your medical history, including any details of any medication that you've taken in the past or you may be taking now. And this is a really important document. Now, obviously, particularly now, all GPs are very, very busy. So it's a really good idea to ask for this GP summary as soon as you've reserved your surgery date. So it allows plenty of time for you to obtain it. Now, it seems that in most cases, uh, GPs will either <clears throat> email you the uh, GP summary directly, or they may ask you to come into the uh, to the practice to collect it. Either way, uh, we need to receive it here at Moorgate so that we can uh, we can properly uh, complete the assessment. So the GP summary is really important. You will you will be asked to obtain it. And uh, my advice is that you contact your GP as soon as possible to allow sufficient time to receive it. Without the GP summary, if it's late or delayed, then your operation will, um, will be moved forward until we do receive it. The other thing you might want to consider is um, transport to and from the hospital. If you're having a surgical procedure, then you won't be able to travel home alone on the same day. If you've had a general anaesthetic, this won't be possible. If you've had a local anaesthetic where you're awake for the procedure, then you may be able to travel home alone. But after a general anaesthetic, this isn't possible. So someone will need to come to the hospital to collect you and take you home. If this is not possible, at Morgate Andrology, we have our own drivers who are able to come and uh, collect you from the hospital and take you home again. The other alternative is to ask the team about an overnight stay in hospital. This will cost a little more, but at least then you, you have that care for the first 24 hours after your procedure. The other point I want to make is about any preoperative tests. So prior to the surgery, dependent on your, um, your procedure and also your state of health, there will be certain tests that you'll need to have performed before your operation can take place. Typically, these may include a COVID test, 
an MRSA test. These are both swab tests that you may do at home. And it's really important that you attend for these tests. Without them, you won't be able to have the operation. And it's really important that you attend for preoperative tests on time. Again, if there are any delays, it may delay your surgery. The type of preoperative test that you will need will depend, as I say, on the surgery, your age, any medical conditions that you have. But our team will arrange any preoperative test that you need for you, and you'll be expected to attend those uh, when they are due. Another point is to make sure that you attend for any consultations on time. There is a consultation process at Moorgate Andrology. You will come and you will meet with the urologist ahead of your procedure. And obviously the consultation is really important. It's important for the specialist to be able to complete his assessment for your surgery. And it's really important for you so that you can get all the information that you need and ask any questions you need to do before the surgery so you can make an informed decision. So very important that you attend for your consultations on time. Time off work, that's something else you'll need to consider. So after most surgical procedures, there is a period of time where you won't be able to work. This will depend again on the type of procedure that you're having and the uh, required time for recovery. This may only be two to three days if it's a minor procedure and you have a sedentary job, but if you have uh, a more invasive procedure or you, more, you have a, a, a more physically demanding job, then you, meet, you may need to take longer off work. Uh, our team will advise you and guide you in terms of the amount of time off work you're likely to need. So again, when you're thinking about your operation date, Time off work is something you need to consider and to plan. And finally, um, care when you get home. It's really advisable for the first 24 hours, you have someone with you after uh, having an operation. It's best not to be alone for the first 24 hours. If you think that you may not have someone with you for the first 24 hours, please do let our team know We'll arrange for you to remain in hospital for the first 24 hours so you can have the proper care. Well, that's all from me today. I hope that's given you some insight into uh, some of the key factors to consider when you're looking to uh, prepare uh, for surgery. If you have any questions about your admission at Moorgate Andrology, you have any questions about your forthcoming surgery and how you should prepare, then please do get in touch with us without delay. Well, that's all from me today. I hope you've enjoyed this video from Moorgate Andrology. We look forward to seeing you back here at Moorgate Andrology very soon. But until then, bye for now.